A very special performance from the final of the Sharjah Champions Trophy 2000, Sri Lanka vs India. This match saw record highs and lows for Sharjah, the highest individual score made in Sharjah by Sanat Jayasurya. Captain Jayasurya has led from the front with 224 runs and saved his best for the final. After winning the toss, he elected to bat. Here he is about to face the first ball from Zaid Khan. Zaid Khan with the first ball of this final. And of course, Jayasurya letting his intentions known immediately. It was swing again, but he played that well, Salat Jayasurya. Edged, fine again, another boundary. What a start for Sri Lanka, they'll be delighted with this. 16, still got one ball left in the second over. This was a lucky one though. Allowing for a little bit of swing, it didn't swing as much as he anticipated, but it's gone all the way along the ground. So a bonus for Sri Lanka. That's gone over the top. Full and also a bit of width. Again edged, third man square. And another boundary for Jay Surya. That's well played. A neat deflection from Jay Surya. Fine leg was up in the circle. Good touch here from the Sri Lankan captain. That was very clever by Sanat Jay Surya, realizing that the Indians had got their his favorite areas covered, um, just getting across the stamps and uh, nudging it very very finely as he enjoyed that shot Mindy. he takes the aerial route here his clear point and he's found the boundary the son of Jai Surya has on 41 Marvin um, Atapadu was just at that beautiful floor, that lovely cut shot through the offside field. So um, he's got himself to seven now. Quite a lot of batting still to come in uh, the Sri Lankan lineup. They're playing well as a unit. They haven't lost in this tournament as yet. This is probably a, a good way to look at uh, these two fields. I mean, they're just moving into position now. Sanat Jaya Surya batting here. And of course, there's the, the first of the fieldsmen. Let's try that again. There's the first one right there, and the other one right there. So they both uh, sort of in line. Anything is hit up in the air on the onside, and uh, that'll be it. Except if you do it like that. Beautifully played. That's a lovely shot. Down to the boundary for four. This man is one of the best players of a pull shot in the game today. Lovely cricket. Positive. It's good cricket. He knows they're going to bowl straight at him. He knows he wants to hit it on the onside. So if he can get inside it, and it's just a little short like it was on this occasion, Jaya Surya just rocks back. He doesn't try and keep it down because there's no fielders there. They're very close. They're only 15 yards from the bat. So anything hit with any sort of power is going to go too fast for them. And he doesn't even try and keep it down. There's no fielder there. That's for that's exactly what Barry Richards was talking about. You cannot pitch the ball outside leg stump. You've got to be very, very careful of a fine leg slip. Oh, have a look at that lovely little dab. Just knocking it down to third man. The Sri Lankans are in this ground are sharing every single ball. The reason why they've gone up there is because he's now reached his half century. Sanat Jaya Surya is having a ball. 83 for one at the non-strikers end as he went past son of Jaya Surya Jaya Surya may well have said to him for goodness sake stay in your crease down the other end son of Jaya Surya still there on 63 big crowds here for the match here today Jaya Surya will get two 
Robin Singh was the fielder there and uh, I think he was in two minds whether to actually dive forward and try and take that catch because that ball was hit a little uppishly and it's been a long time since the last boundary was hit. Almost 13 overs, in fact almost 12 overs since the last boundary was hit. That's a good shot, that's six, it's a biggie, way into the crowd, beautiful shot. Sanatai Saria just loves loose bowling. Tendulkar, he's been very difficult to get away, it's been a superb contribution by him with the ball. In the air, this could be a no-slot, swat of him, four runs, once again, right off the meat of the bat. You can't bowl short to this man. He's not happy, Tendulkar. He knows uh, exactly what he's done wrong there. 141 for four. Dropped him. Uh, that caught and ball. And that was the crucial time because I was in 95. After that, I think I batted really well because I have realized that because I have only one partner left was Russell. And I was thinking to get a big one because India team always they are very uh, they have an experienced side they have Sachin and Ganguly and always can capable of getting a lot of runs lot of lot of runs and I was thinking to get a big one. That could be a vital piece of play. Smashed it back straight off the middle. And Sanal Joshi has dropped it. Chipped it short again. He's teasing them as uh, son of Jayasuriya, maybe just okay. getting a little bit tired. I think uh, when the Sri Lankans went into the final, uh, the psychological points they had gained in that game prior uh, was something which uh, was going to hold them in good stead. And then came that blast from uh, Sanat Jayasuriya. And when Sanat Jayasuriya sort of uh, gets going, it's like a typhoon or hitting something. And uh, it really hit the Indians. There was no stopping him. Over the top it goes, mid-offs up, so it's going to land in no man's land, it won't go for four, but that's it, 100 for Sanat Jayasuriya in the final, he's had a very, very good Coca-Cola trophy, his wife's delighted, what a birthday present for her, the Sri Lankan fans are delighted, and Sanat Jayasuriya deserves the applause from his teammates and from Russell Arnold, look at that. They're as happy as Larry. Their man has got a hundred. It was a final. We were under pressure. We, we won four. Everybody is saying that the Sharjah is difficult to win five in a row. And what we did was um, uh, really well because when we started, we lost few wickets after after 15 overs. And after that, I, um, Russell came after about three, four wickets fell. And uh, both of us went on until 48th over. Over the top and smashed away. Saw him coming, could do nothing about it. 178 for four. Russell is the, the key role for me to go and uh, bat for the 50 overs. I think Russell has been coming a long way. He has been playing like an a experienced player now. For me, he's one of the key players for the team and also he's performing really well under pressure. That's why Russell Arnold on that particular game, he batted with a lot of responsibility and he played like an experienced player. In the air, man can't get to it. Again, just falls wide and just trickles over the boundary. I think he was expecting it. Jai Surya was back on his stumps and got it in front of square. The man is behind, had a lot of ground to make up. Badani couldn't get there. Just a fraction shorter than the previous delivery. And with him knowing that they're not going to be pitching the ball up to him, he was ready for that. He did well in front of square. He's gone again, and this one's a max. Yes, sir. Two on the truck, four, six. I think that 
shot just shows how strong Salah Jaxiri is. Very, very strong forearms. There's no way you could say this is a legitimate hook shot. He's just scooping it up, just helping it up towards the onside. Short enough for him to go back, have lots of time. Oh, that was powerful. Where to, Mr. Khan? Oh, good comeback. Plenty of fire and pace. And he's called it a no ball. Oh, disappointing. And that'll fire them up there. I know it's in the rules, but it shouldn't be. This is a good comeback. Good pace. Salah Jashiri was still looking to just steer it down towards the third man region. Still looking for some runs. Just above shoulder height. And it's edged and gone. Just two bounces. In fact, only one. When he goes at the ball, he goes so high. This is turning out to be a bonanza over for Sri Lanka. Two fours and a six already, plus a couple of singles, and a no ball as well. 199. Zahir Khan really hasn't perfected the slower ball yet, and that's counting against him in the latter overs, whereas uh, Venkates Prasad, a very, very experienced campaigner, can bowl it so well. Most individual score, well, that one number 10, and is closing in on uh, Saeed Anwar, 131, and also Sachin. And Aravinda de Silva at 134, Amir Sahail, the three of them there at 134. He'll have all those in, in his sights. The ball! Oh, that's just smashed away. One bounce, four. I think he read the slower ball on that occasion. That's just power personified. He's telling me to be there and to bat for 50 overs, then we can get the big score. And we both talked each other and we went on and on and that was, that, that is what I want because um, we were sharing each other's uh, the thing, what we, what we should do and we were planning right throughout uh, that particular game. That was powerfully hit. Strong forearms again. And this will be gone for uh, four probably. Can't get to it, the fielder. Slower delivery again, picked it well. He's on fire, son is Jai Surya. There's no stopping him. Yes, he's an excellent man to have in a situation like this. He's got a good temperament, Russell Arnold. And plays with a great deal of cricketing common sense. Oh, he's hit that one. It's gone all the way again. It's another six, yes. Two metres over the boundary. He's whipped it away off his leg stump. That's a lovely shot. Most of them have been short deliveries, which he's pulled into the crowd. This one was whipped away. Pitched just outside leg stump. Uh, these are tremendous shots being played by Jay Surya. Just what the, what's the bat speed when he picks up the ball. Tremendous hand-eye coordination. A lot of bottom hand in that shot. And that's gone a long way. And even in slow motion, you can see the bat speed. It generates so much power through that hitting area. Well, that one's racing away to the boundary as well. I think it's going to get there. Well, there's another example of it. He brings up his 150. Jai Surya has just equaled his highest score in one day internationals, also made against India. That was in Mumbai. He's having a ball. Awful oh, toss, that's four. Take it away. Take it away. A full toss just outside off stump. Money for roll rope. 237 for four. This has been one of those great knocks, and this is where he sits now in terms of the pecking order here in Sasha. Lara, 169, Jaya Surya, 158, and not out. Lara, a 153, then Sachin Tendulkar, 143. Those are the top four. And 
and he's got a lot of runs already in this innings in that mid-wicket area. You can see six boundaries in that direction between uh, long on and deep backward square leg. So you might just see him walking across the stumps here and picking it away on the onside. Oh, he's hit that. This is going to be out caught. Oh, it's a brilliant catch. It's magnificently taken. Oh, has he dropped it? Oh, he's dropped it. He's dropped it. Well, I tell you, I saw that whiteness on his fingers. They're all that uh, plaster and uh, Jaya Sarir started to go. I thought it was all over. Never look at him. Straight down the pitch is Russell Arnold. Captain, calm down. Well, an opportunity he goes begging. Yes, he was eyeing that onside boundary. There was a man in the deep, uh, deep backward square leg. Good attempt by Robin Singh here. Oh, and he's missed it. He's missed it. The pressure now really getting to the Indians. They must feel just a little bit, a uh, little bit despondent. Although that was a difficult one, difficult bounce. Oh, it's hit that one. It's into the gap down at square leg. One bounce for four. Yet another boundary to Sanat Jaisuria. He continues to plunder this Indian attack to every corner of this ground. Well, all the Indian bowlers are under the hammer here from Jaisuria. He's got the highest score in Sharjah. 176. He goes past Brian Lara. And uh, he looks good for more here. This Indian attack has taken a real pasting today. He's hit that one at Stead Square and oh yes, oh yes, all the way again. Jaya Saria is having the party of his life here in Saja. It may well be his wife's birthday, but boy, he's taking all the presents himself. He's smashing full tosses to every corner of this ground. Oh, he's whacked that one, straight down the ground, it's four, it's four more. Full toss, he adjusts it so well. Ganguly is the man who's on now. Yes, yeah, a surprising decision, Tony, to really get himself on at this stage because he's not bold in this innings. He's up against a batsman who's in deadly form and eyeing a double hundred. Equal with Richards, he is at number two. Oh, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone! Oh, no, he's gone! Oh, wide is given as well, but he's gone. Out stunt. What an innings. Well, we've been privileged to see one of the best. Someone should have told him you could have made the highest score ever. He is getting a standing ovation. There are Indians. There are Arabs. There are Sri Lankans and Englishmen, everyone on their feet, cheering this man off. He has witnessed, they, we have all witnessed a great innings. Yes, no doubt about the fact, one of the great innings in one-day international cricket. 189 runs, just 161 balls and people standing everywhere. That was 282 for five. Their final total was 299. Jay Surya was of course the man of the match and man of the series with 413 runs, a total of 48 fours and 8 sixes. Needing 6 and over to win, India collapsed. The top 4 gone for 19, all to Chamindavas. Jay Surya at 189, Arnold 52 not out, Vas 5 for 14 and Murli took 3 wickets for 6 runs and Sri Lanka won by 245 runs.